Hi, Sackmaster fans. Gonna watch a horror movie tonight. It's something called Ghost Keeper. Never seen it before. Let's check it out. In the Indian legends of North America, there exists a creature called Windigo, a ghost who lives on human flesh. Here's a couple, Marty and Jenny. They've pulled up on their snowmobiles into this uh, wilderness store. When's the, uh, when's the Whitland start? Back at the lodge. Here's their companion, Some Chrissy. Some are getting ready for the party tonight. Others are just sleeping. <laughs> or something. Uh, where's your date? He is boring. They have I left the lodge the and have gone snowmobiling today. Oh, you know, are you scared of getting lost? They decided to go in an area that they're not supposed to go. And so they get off the trail and they follow the keep out sign. And they end up at another lodge in the middle of nowhere, seemingly abandoned. And they pry open the door and get in. Chick Jenny's wandering around the hotel and finds a creepy door. Years I've had It's New Year's Eve. Hey, come on, Jen. Don't worry about the others. There's a blizzard outside, so they're spending the night. In this room? In this place. Marty stumbles upon a human being. What the hell's going on? In fact, there's an old lady there. I, uh, I think it's an old lady. It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. She's the caretaker. You can't stay here. You gotta go now. She talks. We can't go anywhere until tomorrow. Look, uh, really, we're uh, three polar bears, and uh, we prefer to be out in the snow tonight. It's mean, your boy. She eventually decides to let him stay. Oh, he's around somewhere. And she apparently has a boy never staying there too. too far. Well, looks like we just might have a good New Year's party after all. <laughs> Can't you just say where you're going? Marty and Jenny are in a little argument here. Sure. Sure, I'd be glad to. I'm uh, going to go down the hall to the bathroom. I'm going to turn the right tap on. You never, never tell me. You never do. You never do. So while Chrissy is preparing a bath for herself, someone is stalking the halls. Whoever is stalking Chrissy has now come into the bathroom. But the guy did not kill Chrissy. In fact, he has something else planned for her. A delayed kill. I guess uh, that is the wind to go in there, and they're gonna, I guess, feed Chrissy to it. Jenny over here is the old lady talking. It's 
The next day, I'm already out trying to start the snowmobile, but it's been messed with, and of course, won't start. Who's been playing with my machine? Of course, they can't find Chrissy either. Chrissy, where is she? Her snowmobile's gone, and mine's been busted. She's gone. Where? I don't know. We'll find no tracks out there. I mean, the snowmobile would have left some after the fresh snow. I don't know where she's gone and didn't see her go. Later on, Jenny's given some coffee, which has clearly been spiked. She's getting a little dizzy. Not much became of her passing out, but she now finds a book. And she also finds something interesting here, a newspaper, talking about mutilated bodies. So naturally that's the key to go exploring. Where she finds the Wendigo. And the old lady's son with a chainsaw. And a chase ensues. Chase leads outside to an upstairs porch. And a nasty fall for that guy. Shortly thereafter, the snowmobile goes up in flames. Although I think it had a little help. Around about this time, Marty goes a little weird, a little crazy, starts putting some oil on his face, and wanders off into the woods. Never a good sign in a blizzard. And I believe this is the old shopkeep who uh, apparently is coming by to stop by to take a look at things, too. He's no longer interested in Jenny, that's for sure. Time to wander off. So that old man who ran that store comes on into the lodge, but doesn't last long. So Jenny goes back in the lodge and finds that old guy's body. Jenny found a gun. The old lady's babbling now. Don't step any closer. It's loaded. Doesn't work. Never has. You can't. The old lady's hiding a knife behind her back. She goes down to the window go again with some news. Well, apparently Marty didn't make it very far. Reminiscent of Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Should have listened to Jenny. Should have been nicer to Jenny. Her movie ends. You'll be fine. Apparently she's the new caretaker. I'll look after you. You know I will. Of the lodge. It'll be like it always was. You'll see. Alright, Schlagmeister fans. Just got done watching a movie called Ghost Keeper. Let's talk about this. This is a movie that I'd never even heard of. It was released on VHS back in the 80s and um, just never was, appeared in any of my video stores, though, so I never saw it. Never came across it. Never knew anything about it until uh, 
my pal over at Mountain Top 9 YouTube channel. I recommend checking him out. Um, he did a review of this movie a few months back, and I was like, hey, that looks pretty cool. So I went looking for it. Turns out it had been released uh, by Code Red uh, DVD, which is what this is here. It was a little pricey there than I wanted to pay for it, but uh, shortly thereafter, Code Red announced a Blu-ray release of it, which is now out and available. So this thing came way down in price. People started selling this one off. Uh, I th you can get this for probably less than twenty dollars now. In fact, I've seen it as low as like seven or eight dollars too. So I'm going to recommend getting this first of all. Right off the bat, let's talk about the movie itself. It's kind of a movie I found it has a little bit of a following to it. It's one of those like hidden gems that came out in the '80s that not a lot of people may have heard of. Just like me, um, I'm, I'm I feel kind of sad that I'd missed out on this one years ago because this is a really cool movie. Um, it's I think what really sets this one apart is the atmosphere. It was filmed up in Canada in some desolate area up in Alberta by this uh, place called the Deer Lodge, which still exists by the way. And it was a very snowy winter. The um, it, the the uh, the surroundings just look absolutely beautiful throughout the whole movie. It's just uh, the snow and the green of the trees, and it looks just very desolate and lonely and alone. It's just it's really cool. And then once they get inside, just the, some of the scenes inside there, it's just very dark and shadowy and uh, quiet. And then like that door opening or closing and banging, just really cool. I really liked it. We obviously have a uh, three people here who go to this place and they encounter some old strange lady, her son, and the Wendigo, which they never really expand as to what exactly the Wendigo in. I guess it's just some sort of mutant guy in the basement. It didn't look all that mutanty to me, but whatever, right? Uh, it was it was still pretty cool. Uh, no nudity in this movie, or did we have one? Uh, that lady who got uh, uh, her her neck sliced, which is really a brutal scene, actually. Um, I thought she was going to be drowned in the bathtub, but then when he was uh, dragging her through the hallways, we may have seen a boob there. I'm not sure, but. Um, Nonetheless, and then they just sliced her throat and I guess fed her to the mutant guy. That was really kind of brutal. I thought that was uh, kind of nasty. So, But anyway, uh, yeah, it was a really cool movie, though. I just overall liked it. And the fact the ending was just kind of struck me off guard. It's like, wow, this woman, Jenny, is now going to become like the new caretaker of the Lodge and the Mutant bot Man. I guess. I don't know. Whatever, right? So, anyway, it's a cool DVD. It's got some audio commentary by the director on this, and one of the uh, stars, the star who played Jenny, actually. There's an interview on here. Um, it's just very well done. This uh, DVD is actually in pretty good shape. It was a little scratchy in the very, very beginning uh, with the opening titles and such, but after that, it cleared up, and it was great. I'm guessing the Blu-ray might even look even clearer and better. I don't know, but you can't go wrong with this movie. It's really cool. So, I definitely recommend this one. If you're satisfied with the DVD, go get this. You can get this relatively cheap now. Blu-ray Blu probably costs in the $22 to $25 range. Again, I might pick that up at some point, too, just because I really like this movie. It's really cool. So find this movie. Go check it out. It's called Ghost Keeper. Again, I never heard of this in the 80s. Maybe you haven't either, but I bet you some of you have seen this. So let me know what you think about it if, if, if you like this movie. I like the soundtrack. I like the surroundings. The atmosphere was just really, really cool. So check it out. Watch it. Leave some comments down below. Let's discuss it together. It's called Ghost Keeper.